Hello. During this 2020 pandemic, we still got a few exciting achievements I would like to highlight today from the Tor user experience and design team. The huge work we have been doing around organizing our main website portals is evolving. In March, we launched community.torproject.org, the central resource for the Tor community. Community.torproject.org slash user research currently hosts all our used open documentation about Tor's user research program, guidelines for community members to run open research with the communities, and our Tor personas tool, an archetype with intentions and needs of our users. The UX team hosted two fellowships this year. Baba Tunde Okonushe joined us through the OTF Information Control Fellowship. Together, we published Central Continent, where he shares he, his key findings about the examination of the use of internet convention tools in Nigeria, Cameroon, Uganda, and Zimbabwe. In a pre-pandemic world, he interviewed 33 people, including students, civil society members, people in business, and teachers, revealing how communities mobilizing themselves to defend censorship. There's research of Narhira Lemos with the Berta Foundation about secure digital tools in the Amazonian region of Brazil with environmental human rights defenders. It's ongoing. She is researching the use of the browser in smart devices during extreme connectivity conditions. Practicing human-centered design methodologies, our ethical user research program, and our in-home fellow researchers informed the continuous work improvements in the browser for desktop and Android. We got two major to browser releases this year. In June, we released the browser's 9.5, focusing on improvement, the understanding of onion services for end users to enhance their adoption. We work on core usability issues for onion sites visitors. Using onion location, websites can advertise their onion service to users. It's the first time users can prioritize onion traffic in the Tor browsers by opting in. We upgraded the network security layer by prioritizing onions, and also we improved the client layer security by exposing a usable interface to authenticate onion sites. We improved our URL bar security indicators and our error pages, making them explicit on how secure contexts are and how recovery can be made. We know how vital are onion services for keeping sources anonymous and safe. We collaborated with the Freedom of the Press Foundation and HTTPS Everywhere developers to deploy the first proof of concept of human memorable names for onion services addresses. You can try it out typing the intercept.securedrop.tor.onion in your Tor browser. During early October, we realized we released Tor browser um, team point O with significant attention in the Tor browser for Android. We aim to reach future parity with the browser desktop during 2021. With the current state of the world, privacy online is more than a human right. The Tor browser is a critical tool for this time of evolving democracies. By 2021, we are working together with the anti-censorship team to provide a better experience connected to Tor for users in censored networks. Censorship experiences different, different shapes. We are working on making the browser smart to detect censorship and harmful on providing bridges to connect to the Tor network. We hope this work improves the experience of the millions of daily users who reach the open internet via the browser for desktop and Android every day. Thank you. And now David is going to talk about onion services improvements we, we accomplished in 2020. <laughs> 